Hi, I'm Rick Powell from Nanoprobes, and today we're going to talk about Nickel NTA Nanogold, which is introducing a new probe, which is used for the universal detection and localization of his tags, which are used on a lot of recombinant proteins, and this probe can be used for high-resolution electron microscopy labeling, and also for highly sensitive, robust, and quick blotting, like Western blotting. What is nickel NTA nanogold? It stands for nickel 2 nitrilo triacetic acid nanogold, and it's a molecular probe which binds to histags, or polyhistidines. This is its structure. It's a small nickel 2 chelate, and we've attached it to a nanogold gold particle, which can be 1.8, 5, or 10 nanometers in size. It has two adjacent waters bound to the nickel 2 ion, and those are easily displaced by midazoles, such as polyhistidines. And these give a tremendously strong binding coefficient. So the binding constant is actually higher than that found for antibodies, up to 10 to the 13, well, moles to the minus 1. It's better than antibodies because there's less cell trauma. His tags are made in the cell, and there's no need to inject primary antibodies. High resolution. It's a small molecule gets closer to its target. And it can be correlative. You can use it to label HISTAG GFP fusion proteins so you can see where your target is, both by fluorescence and by electron microscopy. And it's universal. You can engineer HISTAGs into any recombinant protein and detect any of them with this one probe. It has a variety of uses. You can identify HISTAG proteins in almost any situation. But its particular application is high-resolution electron microscopy. For example, cryo-EM, or single particle analysis. Higher resolution. As I mentioned, it gets closer to its target than antibodies. Only about 2.5 nanometers with nickel NTA nanogold, and 5 or 6 nanometers even for a fab prime nanogold antibody probe. This is the labeling of a single 64 kilodalton 3 subunit protein with nickel NTA nanogold. It's also very clean. Here's the control without the histag. The new 5 and 10 nanometer sizes are excellent for conventional electron microscopy. They're readily visualized without needing to do silver or gold enhancement. Wider field of view and easily visible. This is a virus labeled with, and densely labeled with, 5 nanometer nickel NTA nanogold. High, highly visible. You can see it in a wider field of view, so you can visualize cellular target distributions rather than focusing on just one organelle. Still precise labeling resolution, only 2.5 nanometers from the gold to the histag, and it's also super sensitive for blotting. Correlative microscopy, where a histag is co-expressed with a fluorescent or a light microscopy label. And here we have a GFP polyhistidine fusion tag. This is by fluorescence microscopy. And here it is by light microscopy with silver enhancement, showing the co-localization of the gold with the fluorescence. Finally, rapid sensitive Western blotting. Without the cost and the variability of anti-polyhistidine antibodies. Here's an example of this. His tagged ATF1 protein in serial dilutions detected down to one nanogram with nickel NTA nanogold developed with a process called gold enhancement. And this is a reagent and a product line that we call Goldie Blot. It's available on our website. It's a robust, simple procedure, which is complete in just over an hour. And this is the link to the page on our website that describes it in more detail. So nickel NTA nanogold it's a universal probe for his tags with a variety of uses from electron microscopy, high resolution electron microscopy, correlative microscopy, and rapid sensitive Western blotting. More information, please visit our website, which has full information on all of these products, as well as instructions, protocols, and technical support. Thanks very much for listening, and we hope you appreciate and enjoy our product. Thanks.